The city that is the capital of the Val del Cauca has tourist attractions that have their own history, an active cultural life, and famous musical rhythms. Cali has a lot of different kinds of people, so its music ranges from the Pacific Coast's Curulo to the city's star, Salsa, which has a fast, catchy beat that is part of Colombia's culture. Cali is known as the rumba capital by the rest of Colombia and the salsa capital by the rest of the world. This is because of its famous street parties and dances. As you walk around the city, you can go to the banks of the Cali River and look at the architecture of churches like Ermita and other national monuments from the colonial era. Don't forget to see important places like the Zoológico de Cali, the Barrio Granada, and the huge Cristo Rey statue on the Cerro de las Tres Cruces. This statue is similar to Rio de Janeiro's Cristo Redentor and looks out over the city. Cali has a lot of places for tourists to visit, including a number of museums. Some of the best known are the La Tertulia Museum, the Calama Gold Museum, and the La Merced Archaeological Museum. On your walks around Cali, you can also try some of the city's traditional food which has roots in Spanish, native, and African cultures, and gives each dish a unique taste. This mix of cultures has led to dishes like arroz atolado, a type of seasoned rice with meat, empanadas valunas, empanadas made with potatoes and shredded beef, sancoco de gallina, a type of chicken soup, sopa de tortillas, tortilla soup, Aborigado valuno, fritters made with plantains and cheese, tostadas de platano verde con hog. Because sugar cane grows in the Valle del Caca, Cali's food also has a lot of different kinds of sweets. Some of these sweets are manjar blanco, which is like dulce de leche, cocadas, coconut macaroons, chilado, a fruit-based dessert, and champs, a rich drink made with corn, naranjilla, pineapple, cinnamon, and mulatto syrup. One of the best things to do in Cali is to go out and have a good time, especially in the Juanchito neighborhood, where there are lots of places to dance and a unique vibe that will get you moving. Things to see in Cali. Historic churches. There are a lot of historic Catholic churches that were built in the Spanish colonial style. Since the city is over 450 years old, one of the best things to see is its architecture. The Museum of Gold at the Central Bank of the Republic is at Cali 7 No. 4 to 69, a museum with artifacts like pottery and gold from cultures that lived in the area before the Spanish came. A small art show is also going on. It's free to get in, and it's open Monday through Saturday. The Museo Arqueológico La Merced is a colonial-style church in the city center. It is also an archaeological museum with pre-Hispanic artifacts and religious art from ancient cultures that lived in the area before the Spanish came. A great view of the city can be seen from Cristo Rey, a statue on top of a hill. It is similar to Cristo de Corcovado in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Going up the mountain is a great way to get in shape. Make sure you're not there by yourself, because it's not a very safe place. Cerro de las Tres Cruces, a hill with three big crosses from which you can see the whole city, is a great place for a morning walk. However, you should only do it on Sundays, when there are usually a lot of soldiers around because so many people are hiking. At the top of a hill is the Iglesia de San Antonio, a church with a colonial style. Another great look at the city center. After sundown, this area can be dangerous. The Iglesia de San Antonio is right in the middle of Barrio de San Antonio. People like this place because it has colonial architecture and is on top of a hill, where it is cooler and where you can see the whole city of Cali. People come to the area on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights to watch performers, storytellers, and people selling handicrafts or just to hang out with friends. There are lots of restaurants, hotels, and hostels for travelers to stay in. Many Europeans and North Americans who teach at bilingual schools and English institutions in Cali choose to live in this area. Cali was founded by the Spanish conqueror Sebastian de Belalcazar, just like its neighbor Popeyan, which is to the south. In Cali, there is a nice residential area from which you can see the whole city where there is a statue of Belalcazar. It's a lot less dangerous than Cristo Rey statue. El Gato del Rio is a famous statue of a big cat. It has become a symbol of the city, along with the statue of Belalcazar, the Three Crosses, and Jesus. 
It is across the Cali River from the LPN neighborhood. This is a great zoo in Cali called Zoologico de Cali. It has animals from all over the world. The place is very clean, and to my surprise, it's in a nice part of town. Most of the time, the animals have a lot of room to themselves. Don't miss seeing the Bengal tigers, the birds, and the butterflies. Lonely Planet says that this is the best zoo in South America. La Ermega is a church in the downtown area that has a Gothic style. It was built in 1678, and in 1930, it was fixed up. The Welcome, there is a modern art museum with exhibits from around the world, and a movie theater that shows many award-winning, artistic house films as well as foreign language films. Culture There are many cultural places in Cali, such as the Teatro Municipal in Rio Buenaventura, the Centro Cultural Confandi, and the Teatro George Isaacs. Things to do in Cali Soccer games are played at the Estadio Olimpico Pascual Guerrero, where Deportivo Cali and America de Cali play. One of them plays a match for the national championship every Sunday. When they are in the playoffs, in May and June and November and December, the games are more exciting. Tourists should sit in the occidental part of the stadium, which is on the west side. Tourists should never sit on the south side of the stadium, because that's where the most popular barras are for both teams. Mountain biking is great there, and you can find out more at the BTT de Colombia bike store. The best place for wind or kite surfing in South America, where winds blow almost every day of the year. Salsa dancing. Cali is one of the most popular and well-known places in the world for salsa. People dance in the streets, and every night you can go to a club to dance salsa. You can hear salsa almost anywhere and at any time of day, but the most popular clubs are in the Menka district, north of Cali, and the Juanchito district, east of Cali. The Hill of a Cross, this is a beautiful tourist spot in Los Libertadores, which is a small town near Cali. The whole city could see the small village because a big bright cross stood on the top of a mountain. There are lots of things to do here, like go to church or buy jewelry made by locals. There are also a lot of small music festivals where people dance a lot. There were also a lot of small food shops where you could buy food as you walked around. El Parque de la Caña is Colombia's biggest water park, and it has the biggest water ride in all of South America. The water park is in Barrio El Tronco, which is in Cali. It is close to the military base. Each ticket costs about $22, which is a very low price. They also have rides for adults, and after 11 p.m., the park becomes an adults-only club. You must go to this great amusement park. That's all for today. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more travel-related videos.